Alright. Well, that was kind of an epic fail in the first round of video. So I'm going to quick recap what I did in case uh, I can't salvage anything from it. Uh, I've moved the camera closer to me and I'll move closer in so that I won't uh, stray out of the camera as often. So I mixed a very dark brown using burnt umber and cobalt blue deep. It took about um, twice as much of the blue to the brown to get this dark black that I'm using. I'm using the 100% uh, Grumbacher matte medium number one and I've outlined um, the back edges of each one of the feathers that were carved in on the bird. So I'm working on to uh, the scapular feathers here, the back feathers. And I've uh, been using my Isabi 6168 sable, um, Filbert sable. So, continue on here. And I'm painting each one of these feathers um, bottom ones first, the lowest feather first in each uh, row and for each feather. doesn't take that long to edge these feathers. Sometimes it's hard to see where one feather stops, the other one starts. And that's because I don't like putting a really hard edge on the feathers. It, it uh, restricts my choices in um, the way I want to paint things. I can make some uh, adjustments uh, and add splits and uh, different feather detail if I don't have a hard line dictating where things have to absolutely stop. So I try not to do that. I did that especially on the side pockets as you can see. So, find a comfortable way to hold this so that you guys can see. It's definitely proving to be a challenge for me. But, we'll, we'll get this. I was saying I just ordered a new camera. And, uh, it's going to allow me to, uh, do 30 minute videos instead of 20 minute. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is to me, uh, especially for editing. I bought uh, a brand new laptop and uh, an Alienware workhorse um, and new software for my video editing. And uh, now I'm going to have a nice uh, camera. The one I have, the one we're using, I'm using right now is a Canon uh, PowerShot SX, uh, 150SX. And I, I like it a lot, IS. 
so it had some image stabilizing features on it um, but it was eight years old and, and as much I've done all of those videos that are on YouTube with it for the most part I got it in uh, 2012 it was uh, bought with my winnings on my common moon palm front I won second best in show with so I've been using it ever since and I think eight years is a long enough time to wait before upgrading so that's uh, what I'll be doing tomorrow when it arrives I'm very excited I'm not using this paint very thick at all. You can see the uh, palette. You can see how thin the paint is that I'm applying. So. One of the things these long handled brushes do is whack into my lights. Sometimes uh, is a welcome sound because it means I'm painting but other times especially when I used to work late at night I would hit like that and scare the heck out of myself There's my loom clock. Pretty soon I'll be hearing the real deal out on the lake when my uh, sliding glass door is open. Actually, you can hear it without the sliding glass door when they get real active. They fly over too, right over the studio. It's kind of cool. All right, so. <clears throat> There, I've got the one half of the scapulars done. I'm going to move on to the back. Filbert's nice because I can turn it sideways to get a thinner stroke where I want that to happen. You can see I'm not being super uh, careful. I'm just getting the outer edge of each one of these feathers. be doing some blending when we're all done when I'm all done with this Let's see if I need to come back with uh, a lighter color for the inside portion of the feather I don't think I will but you never know Alright. 
I'm really kind of liking painting in the oil here. The last thing I did paint in oils was uh, my very first common loon decoy, which is in the uh, in St. Paul at the Minnesota Historical Museum. And uh, I did a lot of contest painting in the shows and you just can't do oils in that and so I started uh, tailoring all of my techniques around uh, acrylics and I never really defined even for myself how I painted in acrylics until I did the old squaw that was displaying uh, to put in words how you you actually paint something is to say the least difficult but uh, I hope I can be uh, as educational for you when it comes to the oil version okay. it's coming out really well head's getting in the way though so I need to attack it from a different Quite the challenge getting in there. I'm gonna go over the these here once more. They're considerably lighter than the other side. I must have used a little bit more medium the first time around. Resulting in thinner paint, so. All right, so here we go. Take care of.
last row of the scapular feathers. I'm hitting these feathers right. Oh, look at that, I'm getting my finger stuck in there. Okay. Try not to do that anymore. It's a good idea to wash your hands often. And certainly before you eat anything that you handle, um, not only is it bad for ingesting if it's on your hands and through your skin, the solvents and the paint, uh, but <clears throat> you can also risk transferring that paint to areas you don't want to off of your hands that... Uh, can really be a pain in the butt. So I try to work as clean as possible. Doesn't always work out, but I hope this uh, time the video is coming out because I can't like redo this. Get one shot at it. It's the same thing for carving demos. My camera shuts off and I don't know it or I've pulled out a view and I don't realize and then all of a sudden you know I'm done and I go and I review my video and I'm like so disappointed. <sighs> so hopefully I'm doing okay. Since the outer edge of each feather is darker on both the side pockets and the scapulars, it's okay for me to uh, just paint right along that transition line because it would be dark.
Okay, almost done. So that is that. A little bit more here. Because I had some of the green from the head. In that area. So I'm just touching up in here to cover up some of that green isn't on the other side. And I'm turning my brush sideways and taking this up into the feather tracks that are colliding with each other to create the raised area in the breast and neck patch and necklace. A little bit of the same with the other side. 